O nations, hear the word of God, declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior shall appear. No longer will you need to fear. O nations, hear the word of God, declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior shall appear. No longer will you need to fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. So today we celebrate St. Lucy, Santa Lucia. She's well known in Sicily and especially in Italy. Um, and again, you'll see her depicted with her eyes. She's the saint for anyone who has eye problems. So if you're experiencing eye problems, pray to Santa Lucia. She'll help you. As we are involved in this wonderful liturgy, we take a moment and we ask for God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand who intercedes for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr St. Lucy give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam give voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with his eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now, I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me, teach me, for you are my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember 
Remember your compassion, Lord, and your kindness of old. Remember this, and not my sins, in your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and just is the Lord, the sinners know the way. God guides the meek to justice and teaches the humble. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Lord, come and show us your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, by what authority do you have in doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you what authority I do these things. Where was John baptism from? Was it from heaven? Was it of heavenly or human origins? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, Then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd that they will all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A quick story. I, uh, I really enjoyed Sicily when I had visited, and I always wanted to practice my Italian, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to do it. So there was a vendor outside one of the churches so I started speaking Italian, and he, in perfect English, he looked at me and he said, Sir, do you speak English? I said, Yes, please use English. <laughs> we have this wonderful story of Jesus. And again, last week I preached about Jesus really is taking to task the authorities, the Jewish authorities say one thing and they do another and in this situation he's taking them to task authority where does authority come from and why do we give people authority because we believe in them when I was in the classroom the only reason I had authority and I found this to be very true especially with freshmen is that when you were teaching you had to teach with authority and that they needed to know that you were in charge of the classroom and they weren't. But they would also respect you if you respected them. Always remember that. They will respect you if you respect them. It is a both and situation. We respect authority figures when we feel that we are being respected. And sometimes what happens, especially today, a lot of us don't feel that our authority of figures are respecting human life, human dignity, the respect for life, 
All of that makes a difference, right? China's being called into question. There's a number of places being called into a question and authority figures. So who gives authority? We do. We give the individuals authority and don't ever think that we don't. That's why the church needs to always take its time and it needs to speak with truth. And then it will receive the authority that it is seeking. But Because if you uh, appear to be covering something up, if you appear to not be speaking the truth, people will turn you off immediately. So Jesus turned on the uh, scribes and the Pharisees today. And he was so clever. Because he knew exactly what would be the answer. Because he knew exactly what he was seeking and so he wasn't going to give in to them, and they knew it. But I'm going to tell you something. You will hear constantly in the scriptures, Jesus would speak with authority. He spoke with truth. He respected and loved the people that he was working with. Whether it was the woman caught in adultery, or whether it was the woman who used the perfume washing his feet, whether it was the blind man or the blind beggar or the paralytic, he respected all of them. And he challenged those who couldn't live the truth. And that's what authority he had. So today, in your own reflection, who do you give authority to? What authority figures or authority do you rely on? that you can say they speak truth, that we believe them, that we can trust them, because that makes a difference. We can trust Jesus. He speaks truth, and he speaks with authority in our lives, calling us to a deeper relationship with one another and with God. Let us stand and pray. And so let us pray for authority figures and those who guide and lead us, that they will always walk by the way of faith and with truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And let us also pray for the poor and those who need a voice, that the Lord will be close to them. We pray to the Lord. And let us be mindful of uh, those who are sick, for the healing presence of Jesus, those who may be struggling with cancer, those who may be struggling with any type of operation that they're facing, that the Lord's healing presence will be upon them, we pray to the Lord. I always try to keep uh, nurses and doctors, policemen, firemen, all public servants, whomever they may be, that the Lord will watch over them and, and guide them in their work. We pray to the Lord. And so let us uh, also remember our children and our grandchildren, children throughout the world, that they will be kept safe and free from harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let's remember the people of Sicily and all of those in Italy that certainly um, respect this wonderful day of St. Lucy and that as through the intercession of St. Lucy, people will be able to see clearly and also that she will protect all peoples asking for protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for your prayers. For whom or for what shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, through the intercession of St. Lucy, Help us to all see clearly as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread that we offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of His holy church. May the offerings that we bring in celebration of St. Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints you consecrate themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts that you promise in the new world to come. And so with all of the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, save your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, Richard, Jeffrey, James, our auxiliary bishops, all the clergy, and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
And today we're going to remember Lucia Alonso. Bring her and all who have died into your mercy and welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And so we gather our hearts this day as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. So let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Thank you. 
Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart. And let us pray. O God, who bestowed on St. Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may obtain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. And we have two intentions to bring to the Blessed Mother today for the healing for Claire Shin and family and thanksgiving for the health of Robert Zaldivar. And so we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Have a great day, everybody.